Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this look for you, which is, on the face of it, it looks like a really, really simple, easy look to do, but ha ha ha, makeup can fool you sometimes. So obviously, as you probably have guessed by the title of the video, this is a look based off of a new singer-songwriter on the scene that I'm really hesitant to pronounce her name because I'm not sure if it's pronounced Lord or Lordy or Lorde, it's L-O-R-D-E. She's a New Zealand uh, singer-songwriter. Amazing, she's only 16, um, but her song Royals has just been going around in my head for the last week, just like non-stop. It keeps coming up on my Spotify. No matter what playlist I put on, put on, this song seems to pop up in it. And I'm not complaining, I love it. I was actually requested to do this look absolutely ages ago. I think obviously when the song first came out or when the video first came out, um, somebody commented on one of my videos to check it out and you know maybe do a, a look based on it. I had totally forgotten about it until like that, the song started coming up on my Spotify and I was like, Hang on, that sounds vaguely familiar. And then I remembered and I looked at the video and I thought, oh yeah, definitely have to do that. Very simple makeup, very cool. She's really cool. It's a bit cool, it's a bit hipster. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a bit of a challenge though. And just before we get into the actual tutorial part, I just wanted to talk to you about this event that I'm going to be attending uh, in October. It's on the 20th of October. I did talk about it in my last video, but it was right at the end. So maybe not all of you have seen it, but it's an event launching a new makeup website. It's called themakeupsocial.com. I'll have the link to it in the description box. And it's basically like a social media um, community of people that absolutely Absolutely love makeup, sharing um, pictures of their makeup, product recommendations. It's just a really, really, really fun place to be. But to celebrate the launch of the website, they're having this beauty congress. And myself, Chloe Morello, Carissa Pucas from Saturday Night's All Right, Butterfly Lillian, or Lillian from Butterfly Lillian, Amy Sass from Amy Sass 7, and Ruby Galani are all going to be there. And on Sunday, we're gonna be doing like workshops. So I'm gonna be doing a workshop with Chloe Morello about smoky eyes and how to get the perfect smoky eye. There'll be tons of brands there. There'll be obviously us to talk to. You get a massive goodie bag. I think the goodie bag is worth I'm not exactly sure, but it's worth a lot of money. It's worth a lot more than your ticket. I would be so, so excited to meet some of you guys there. I'll leave the link to the event in the website. So in the website, in the description box. So if you want to go and have a look and see if tickets are still available, because I know tickets are extremely limited and they've already sold out for this the day before. So I think the only ones that are available are the ones on the 20th. Anyway, go check out the website if you want to see. I hope to see some of you there. Enough of me talking, let's get on with the tutorial. So for my skin, the first thing I did was take MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base and using a Real Techniques contouring brush, I just uh, put a really light layer of that all over my skin. Next, I used Max Factor Lasting Performance in the number 100 Fair and using the same brush, again, just a really light layer of that all over. And I apologize, I know this isn't available in the States, but you know. <laughs> Next, for concealer, I used MAC Studio Finish in the color NW20, and this time I used a Real Techniques um, detail brush, and I just used that brush, I didn't uh, switch over to a buffing brush. I just kind of slowly dabbed it until all of the concealer was blended out. And then to set everything, I used my Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Light, and I used a MAC 138 brush to buff that over the foundation. I'll do the concealer under my eyes after the eyeshadow is done, just in case we need to clean anything up. I'm going to do my brows now, and today on my brows I'm using a product I picked up during the week, and it is one of the Essence eyebrow, uh, eyebrow design pencils in the colour Blonde. This is so good! I kind of picked it up just because they're so cheap, like Essence is really, really cheap, even in Australia, it's amazing. This maybe was $3, $4? It's so good, it's really, really hard. Um, which I find can be a bit of a rarity with drugstore brow pencils. Sometimes they're like really, really soft, too soft almost to use in your brows. But this is nice and hard, kind of just draws, just draws in the right amount. Does that make sense? That probably doesn't make sense. But it, it just doesn't kind of splodge out onto your brows like a lot of cheaper brands do. It's a good colour too. The first thing I'm going to do on my eyes is put on a really thin layer of Max Painterly Paint Pot. This is a Sigma brush, an E30 perhaps? I still have the old numbers on my Sigma brushes so I can never remember the names. 
it'll be in the description box. I'll just put a little bit right kind of on the lower lash line. Next I'm going to take some more of my Mineralize Skin Finish, the same one I used to set my foundation, and just pop a little bit of that on top of the Painterly. I'm going to be working more cream products on top of this, so I don't need the Painterly to be sticky. In fact, that would actually make my life a little bit more difficult, so I'm just putting the powder on to set it and take away that stickiness. So to trace in the kind of flick cat eye shape, first I'm going to use one of the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. This is in the colour Bark. And I'm going to apply it with one of the eyeshadow or the eyeliner brushes that you get with the Maybelline gel eyeliner. I know I've been singing the praises of these brushes in my last few videos, but seriously, awesome brush. So I'm just going to pull this colour up and into the flick shape that we want. It's quite a steep angle. And I'm just going to fill in a bit of a triangle. And obviously if you don't have this particular shadow stick, you can use any brown cream eyeshadow or even um, a waterproof brown eyeliner will work. And just kind of slowly making that triangle a bit bigger. And to get a clean pencil brush, just going to softly smudge that in across onto the eyelid a little bit. Now I'm going to switch to an angled brush and Max Mystery eyeshadow. I'm going to come from the top of this point across here to join it in with the line of my socket, if that makes sense. I'm just going to fill this area in, go over the area that we did with the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow. I'm just taking a really small brush, this is a MAC 231, to pack the colour on that triangle, just to intensify it a little bit. And then back to the pencil brush I used earlier. Okay, now I'm going to go into MAC's Carbon Eyeshadow and still with the same angle brush. I'm going to kind of trace around the shape of this so it's got a black outline. I'm going to take a bit of that carbon eyeshadow and just press it into the roots of my lashes. Just maybe about three quarters of the way across my eye, not the whole way into the inside corner. Now I'm going to take some more of my Mineralize Skin Finish on the pencil brush I've been using all along and just pack that a little bit heavier onto the eyelid starting from the inside and working my way across. And that'll just help to blend that dark colour across, just kind of soften the transition a little bit more. I don't want to use an actual like medium tone colour in between the light and the dark because it kind of just loses the effect. It's supposed to be just a dark colour on the outside and that's it. I'll pop on some mascara, Covergirl Clump Crusher. And I'm going to comb that through with a spoolie because I don't want my lashes to be really um, really spiky or to distract from the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take off the excess mascara with a spoolie and make sure the lashes are nice and separated. For concealer under my eyes, I'm using Max Pro Longwear in NW20. This is on the same Mystery Sigma brush I used to apply the paint pot. And the reason I'm using a brush like this as opposed to my usual kind of fluffy brush is because I want to be able to sharpen up these lines. And you can do that much better with a flat brush like this. And then just set that with my Mineralize Skin Finish again. In the video, it doesn't look like she's wearing like any other makeup on her face other than a bit of foundation and the eye makeup. 
But I'm going to do a little bit of contouring just to give my face a bit more dimension after the foundation and I'll put a kind of a pale colour on my lips to finish. For the contouring today I'm using Max Omega eyeshadow and a Royal and Langlical contour shadow brush. And I'm using this, the Omega, because I don't want to add a bronze colour to my skin. I want to keep it very, very toned down and neutral, but still give my face dimension. I can't not do blush. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, I know it's not exactly recreating the look, but I just can't. So I am gonna do blush, very subtle though. I'm gonna do Cubic by MAC, and on my big fluffy powder brush, just kind of follow the line of the contouring. I'm not putting it directly onto the apple of my cheeks. Just to give it a little bit of color there. Even that's enough. For lips, I'm going to use one of the Rimmel Apocalypse in the colour Nude Eclipse. And that's it, no gloss or liner or anything. So that is the finished look. It's a simple, clean look, but it's a little bit tricky to actually pull off. Like it is quite a technical eye look, just because you have to exercise so much self-control. I know when I'm putting on eyeshadow, I just, all I want to do is blend. All I want to do is take a big fluffy brush and spend like 10 minutes just blending and blending and blending. Before you know it, like you've got eyeshadow nearly up to your eyebrows and like down onto your cheeks. You've just buffed it out so far. I just enjoy the process of blending so much. I find it so relaxing. So a look like this, you really have to like, like rein yourself in and stop yourself from doing what you kind of would usually do and what you, I suppose what your instincts are with makeup. So it's a bit of a challenge, but it's a really, really lovely look. And I really hope you give it a go yourselves. It's a great kind of technical exercise to challenge your skills. And aside from all that, it looks awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forgive so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you should totally subscribe I put out new videos all the time and you'll never miss another one again don't forget to check out the description box if you want to see the list of all the products I use including the names of brushes that I might have forgotten the name of while I was actually doing the makeup all that information stay in there so thank you so much for watching guys really really hope you liked it and we'll see you very soon bye Thank you.